All right, top hiding spots on the Springwood map. There are, and it will depend upon, I have to unfortunately say the procedural generation here, there are a number of good hiding spots that are standard, and there are a number that will or may not appear depending on what is generated in the trees. We're gonna do the standard hiding spots first so that you have a good idea what you, what, I mean, where you can always run to if you have to. And this is the first one. Michael, come find me. And this is the first one. I have been found here like one or two times out of all the times I've used it. This, for some odd reason, I'm not quite sure why, people do not come into this corner. If they come into this corner, all they do is look and see the bed, they don't really examine it. I, I think it has to do with the smallness of the area. They're like, okay, yeah, I look, there can be nothing in that small of an area, and they move on. That's what makes this spot so good. As you can see, I pretty well blend into what's going on here. Now he knows where to look for me, but that's pretty much what happens. They'll come, they'll look, and they, they do not see you. I don't know why, but even my butt is not big enough to stick out past this filing cabinet. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. This one is good, but it's really going to depend on which way the killers come from. I just saved Dr. Manchild from a horrible death in the basement that was generated here in a match just tonight by hiding here. It was against the nurse who teleported in, and that's key. If they drop through the hole that's over there in that direction or come down the stairs that's in that direction, they won't see you, especially if you're geared up like this and you're, and you're in a claw, you're in a female character. You can't really see their head. Do you see my head, uh, Dr. Manchop? Can you see my head above the uh, pipe? I can see just the top of your head. Just the but tip. I can also, But I can also see your legs and a hand sticking out from below the pipes. Right. Now, what do you say your chances would, the chances would be if someone was rushing through this to uh, capture someone who just got out of a basement? What do you think? Extremely low. If a killer is rushing, trying to find the last person, they're not going to see that unless they have equal eyes. Right, and, and that's another thing I need, I need to add in here, too. You can't use these hides directly, you know, say say you're against a leather face. You know, you know dude is carrying barbecue and shell. You know he is. So the minute he hangs someone, before you go to one of these hides, count out your count out your, your barbecue by thousands. I always go with five thousand to be safe. And I'll be one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand. And then I'll change my direction or change my hide area. All right, there is a couple more up front here. This is one that a lot of people know about. It's, I've had good luck with it, I'll say that much, and I haven't been found here a lot. So I'm including it, even though it's a pretty, I'll say at least reasonably well-known hiding area. If you pop in here, especially here where that, flo where that floating bush is at, because it masks your head, or along here, I have won matches using this hiding spot, especially because for some odd reason, the hatch wants to generate inside the building in this room and will be on the other side of this wall. You can hide here, be good to go. Either wait until the killer moves on or decides to camp the area, come through the, <laughs> come through the gate there and come around and you can be on the hatch before the killer knows what hit him. And then come around the table if you need to and pop, bam, done. All right, I want to go ahead and I think, let's, let's do the tree, let's do the tree spot. I need to turn that sound effect down because it like, it uh, drowns out what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You could turn the master volume down. Yeah, but then it'll, it'll turn down my speaking volume as well. Uh. I mean, in the game. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and go over to this tree. This is one of the ones that is procedurally generated. Usually, 
There's a gen right out in this open area here, usually. And to go with it, you'll have this tree set up right here. You go in there, and unless the killer is looking directly at you from that direction, which he can't do because also, for some odd reason, when this spawns, those trees that are behind me usually spawn with this spot. Unless they happen to be looking directly at you because they can see a little bit of a brown versus green there, you're not going to be seen because you're entirely encased in this. Sometimes this spot also generates, instead of that tall wooden tree, it generates another green tree and that is golden. The spot is narrow, it's well leafed, and you won't be seen. All right, I do believe, except for the trash can hide, we've got all of these on this map. Let's see. Go over here. This is the last one I want to give honorable mention to. I haven't been found here, but again, this is one of those spots that's kind of well known. It's right here by this trash can. You, of course, you of course can't go on this side because you're too well lit. But you can come over here. And I have, in that same match that I was uh, evading the nurse to rescue my friend, I hit here as well. I used this opportunity, and the nurse, any speed mover like, you know, hillbilly, what have you. All right, quit looking at me. Let's have to go off. There we go. Any speed mover, hillbilly, nurse, stuff like that, will more than likely pass you in hides like this. Again, so far as, as they don't have any kind of perk help, barbecue and chili, whispers, that type of thing. Uh, <laughs> goodness sake, don't be in there healing when you have a nurse's calling killer. But uh, for the most part, these are golden spots. Please, please use them with love. Please use them wisely. Please, please save yourselves. I hope that this video helped you out. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that Michael stays away from me because he's loud as all get out. And no, I'm just kidding. That's all right, Michael. You can come over here and have your moment in the sun. Come on, Michael. Dude, man. Dude, you gotta shave. You look too hairy. Hey, hey. Don't get vicious. Oh my God, he's spazzing. He's spazzing. All right, though, guys, seriously. Okay, Mike, step away, step, step away so they can hear me. There we go. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, do all those things you already know how to do. Like, subscribe, share, write my name in the stars, name your firstborn after me, because I would love to have that happen. Until next time, this is Skill Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. This